Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you my shoe reveal and also initial review about this. The new shoes I got from, if you see the box, from Yeezy. So it's like, it's a Kanye West collaboration brand with Adidas and I never really pay my attention to this brand because um, I'm not really a fan of him and I just I don't know. I, I I just didn't understand the hype, but when I suddenly not I I think I suddenly had a notification that they would release this specific color. I was drawn to it because I'm more like the neutral kind of shoe lover. I prefer mostly of my shoes uh, as much as possible neutral. And I when I saw this color, which is the color slate, I fell in love with it instantly. So first I will show you the unboxing and how you know how it looked uh, when I j just opened it. Um, the lighting was not that good because it was late uh, like around 6 p.m. already but that's how it looked when I got it. Although I did try it in store. Oh sorry for the noise for a moment. So I tried it in store just to be sure because um, they were released in JD Sport, the Adidas website, and also the um, Snipes. But with Snipes, I cannot return it in store. In JD Sport, I can return it immediately. For example, when I fit it there and it doesn't fit me, I decided I would just directly return it. And with Adidas, before it even released, it was sold out already, so I cannot um order it from them although i think it was also easier to return them or i can also return that to them via post also but what disappointed me so much is so it was with, with this box you know the usual box but they just put it in this kind of plastic bag which is annoying because i had ordered uh, shoes before from them and also in a plastic bag and the box was destroyed and sure enough, although it was not as bad as this, I see a dent in this box. So you expect that they will handle it the more care because this costs an arm and a leg, literally. So they said, I think I saw a lot of reviews before I was waiting for it. Uh, in other countries, you, they receive it like within two days. But this I waited almost like a week before I got it. So it took a while here where i live in belgium and they said the um, only um changes that they have is like now it's only three letters the easy before it was like completely easy name and yeah so first we go to the unboxing so when i opened it i really was impressed with the color it's really a pretty almost like a silver beige combination gray beige gridge uh, which is not good for like a lipstick for me like it looks so pale on me but in the shoes oh my god it's so pretty I'm used to Adidas technology because I've been collecting and buying and using Oswego and when my friend saw my Oswego she said oh this reminds me of the Yeezy but this has different kind of heels it's more like transparent and the uh, Oswego is more like chunky but like just a solid color and yeah they're also a bit like knit looking uh, like the fabric there's like um, some are knits but some are like you know the typical uh, sneaker kind of it's not leather but i'm not sure what you call that with the sneaker like what they do on the upper parts of the sneakers the usual so um, the first impression, it's it's a bit light. No, not really light. It's It has a bit of weight to it. And yeah, I'm just really amazed with the color. And I felt like when, while well, looking at the videos of other people, I feel like this kind of design is more for male. Like um, it's not really a feminine kind of design, which I was struggling how to style this. So uh if i'm able to wear this a lot and think of the styles i can do with this 
I will surely update you with that and make a video how I will style this because the mostly the the videos I saw that posted how they style this with the old versions is um, they're more like sporty look and I'm not I don't wear those kind of clothes like hoodies and um, leggings and you know like sporty type kind of um, dressing I used to do that but now I, I'm trying to change but I never never wear leggings so um, that's why I, I'm thinking to think of um, more outfits that I can share to all of you how you can sell without looking sportive something like that you know like casual wear um, still like comfy I, I prefer also casual wear like but a bit stylish because so far the videos I saw it's not really my style so please watch out for that and yeah and I noticed when they released this I know the hype before that when it's released it's sold out right away but I noticed while I was ordering I was afraid my shoes will be like done out but um, uh, even after a day they were still available but when I think after two or three days it was suddenly gone but I'm pretty sure the stocks were not like sold out I think they just because I think what I research, research about about this that's why it's really um, expensive and high demand and something like that because they only release limited stocks of this and I think once a year I'm not quite sure how because I didn't follow this brand since it came out um, probably twice a year they just release and then they're gone and I don't think they um, restock previous designs or colors so every time they release something it's always new so either you buy in a reseller which I will never do because they put so much um, uh, they sell it so high that I for me it's not worth it anymore so but so here is the close-up I hope you see better the light uh, like the true color with the true color of this but yeah our house is really not so good lighting so it's almost like there's a blue lighting I might change my position so you see better the color this is the color it's also maybe because of the sun I hope you still see that good and I noticed like the dust really goes to it easily but I have like wipes so I can do that so as you see it's here boost are written here they said it's like a boost technology like the cushioning they use and also I think these are like made of recycled materials which is great and um, I thought this would be great also because I can just you know I don't need to untie it and just put it on I think that was the uh, design of this but it's still hard to like put it out and on I still need to untie it so maybe if I use this a lot it will be not as tight as this when it's still new and yeah I really love the color combination they did with this why I feel like yeah I just see like the dirt so easily now like it sticks to the because <laughs> this is transparent so it will be like that and inside it's just a Yeezy and Adidas um, but you cannot see it I don't even see that Yeezy and Adidas sign inside and yeah that's all and when I was walking with this it's really like really soft it's almost comparable to the Oswego but this is much you know the cushioning I feel like it was better and yeah um, I'm afraid that this would like peel later on the long run because I see some where is the strand I saw like it was like peeling with right this you see that it's already like doing that so hopefully this will not look so ugly like you know with the sweaters or knitwears that it would like peel later on but i love the design although this i think this looks much more manly that kind of design that uh, they did with this that's why i feel like you need to really dress it uh, that you can also feel like it's not too masculine looking on you so and 
yeah i need to wear this a lot more i plan to i bought this for work uh, most especially because i walk so much in a day and i want to be comfortable because sometimes uh, at the end of our shifts my knee is so painful my leg is so painful yesterday i still felt the pain but not as bad as uh, you know the regular shoes i use for work so and i'm used i really prefer wearing like sneakers at work especially if you stand all day and like walk a lot like me so this is really handy why why is this like bending i felt like look i hope it's not like it melted because sometimes in the bus i sit near the where the engine are and it's too warm so hopefully it's not because of that or it's just a issue from making look this also i need to see yeah this is not happening to the other side look it's like bending over hmm. i feel like it's like the glitch on how they 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 uh, glue the knit probably because the other side it's just like straight and i feel because of maybe the color also i don't see any glue like this really compared to other adidas shoe like i feel like this really made um carefully and yeah it's much more luxe for sure and the price is also <laughs> it should be because it's so expensive and this is i think my no not my most expensive shoe actually but this is oh I'm looking carefully because it looks weird but probably because this is like the end or the start that's why I like this hmm. but yeah it's not really obvious but it's a bit sad I like the design of their box as well unlike the uh, any other any other adidas or ad adidas um, shoe boxes you can just pull it like that which is really nice uh, detail yeah i thought it's w it was more special kind of paper but it's just like you know beige yeah a bit better than the usual and they have this but it's just it's not like really luxe you know like m when i buy a bit higher end kind of shoes it's it's better than this so <laughs> but yeah that's how it is probably i guess it was not sold out like how the normal release from the shoes because of the crisis now in the world everything is expensive everything is like you know um i think the least um thing that people will think about is a new expensive sh shoes to purchase they have uh, a lot of things to pay a lot of things to think about so i feel like um releasing the shoes um maybe they expected that it would be you know the other times like to be sold out right away but i noticed it was not the case and but i i still saw that they just removed it anyway because i think that's that's how they do it i'm not quite sure if they always do that and you cannot find it anywhere anymore I, even if i search it where i bought it it's not there it's nice jd adidas and um only like reseller kind of websites which i don't i don't recommend because they they charge so much almost like sometimes even double triple for the price that you pay for this but if you really you're really desperate to get it so maybe it's worth it for you for you but me i will not do that and i i also the sizing um, normally i'm 41 one third for adidas shoes 41 one third but the last oswego i bought even the old star that i bought i felt like 41 one third i i want the, like i feel my toes to the end so i want a bit space so the all star they don't have 42 for the lady shoes where i bought it so probably i should get like for the men's section now but if you're like me who who doesn't want like to feel like the end of the toe here uh it's best that you size up i think uh, it's better for you to size up a whole uh full a full size up i did size up 42 but i still feel the pressure here 
it's okay especially my other toe because i have a problem with my other toenail i feel the pressure at the end of the day it's really painful and not like like painful that um it's like sore but you feel the pressure on top of your um like here of your um of your toenail and uh i i don't like that feeling i like there's a bit space that you know my toes my feet will move freely there's you know it's not like it um it will reach till the end although i will say i will um I'll post a picture on the screen like when you when you tr when i put side by side my feet outside of this shoe it felt like it will have so much pace but when you have it on that's why a lot of people they say this runs small because i feel like the design if you see that it's like pushing your feet forward because of this this curve here so I even if you feel like it will be too big than your normal size it still runs small so if ever in the future i will find a a color combination that I would like again from this um from this brand i will surely get the 42 and one third because even a size full uh, i've i size a full size i still feel the pressure already with the the 42 even if it's i would never imagine i will buy 40, 42 <laughs> because um it's like already a men size right but uh with this because the uh, 42 in nike it was also too roomy for me but with this especially this um kind of style you need to size up certainly i even one and a half size uh one and a half um size more than your usual size i think it should be okay but they say it would stretch over time but i don't know if it will ever ever happen because the other shoes i got they never do that so the veja i also sold that because it's too tight in summertime and other Uzuego, the I think I'm gonna sell also the other Uzuego because the 41 is just I feel like it I feel like the end already. So if ever I, I would really love it, I would probably um, buy 42 for Uzuego next time. So this has the Adidas sign here, which is like um, it's like tone on tone, so which it's, it's not like you know, like. It just blends well everything blends well the shoelace the the knit the thread they use it's so really i really love this is kind of my color so even if i was not into yeezys but when i saw the color of this i, I have to have it because i have to admit i'm also a sneaker lover and i collect a lot but i also uh, sold a lot because some sneakers i had and sandals i don't really wear a lot and i feel like i won't I will not get my use out of them so I'll j I decided to sell I think I already sold three four I'm not sure I sold a lot already so yeah and I will update you after probably a month or when I have a concrete like a uh, styling video already so let's see how that works and probably I will do like three month review four month I uh, know three six and then uh, ninth month and then a year depends because because I was also thinking, is it really worth it? Because it costs too much. So maybe my videos will be helpful for you. So uh, please watch out for that. So that's my initial review of this. It felt okay yesterday while working. I tried to clean it with my wet wipes. If, But I think it should be... Yeah, you can easily clean it like that. Even like at the bottom, look, I walked in the city and normally my shoes are so black and it's still like this. And it was raining as well. So it doesn't catch so much dirt from the bottom of your shoe. Look, it's just dusty. So probably I will do it. And I sprayed it with the, um, the shoe spray. I just recently bought and it's really good i'll try to post a picture and the name of it on screen but i think it's really effective you can also use it with your new bags to protect the shoe but probably when it's soaking you know with the rain look it's i'm so amazed it still looks so clean even if i clay walk this in the rain and you know the roads here are so dirty as well it's like everything especially if i wear white it's like it's black right away and that's how dirty the roads here are so 
yeah i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please okay there's a <laughs> ambulance if you have any questions please do let me know and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching i hope i see you in my next one bye